Here, I want to talk about the interface of Cadia version 5, and if it is the first time that you are opening Cadia version 5, you may see a little different environment than what I see right here. And the first thing and the most important thing that I want to talk about is the menu bar. And in menu bar, you can go to start menu, and this is the most important thing here, because it will take you to different environments, that in each environment you can reach different tool sets and tools. If I click here, you can see that some of the environments are categorized under infrastructure, some of them under mechanical design, and, and so on. And what are the most important environments that I'm going to work in? Mechanical design part design environment is the first and the most important environment, and you are going to start your sketching and creation of objects here, mostly of course. And after that, I will go to assembly design to put my parts together. I can go to drafting environment to have blueprints of what I have created. I can go to wireframe and surface design to create surfaces and select points, planes, lines, or anything else. I can go to generative sheet metal design and work with, for example, uh, different tools that are uh, convenient to create, you know, metal surfaces. I can go to shape, generative shape design, and work with different kind of surfaces. And these are different environments with different tools that you can go and work with them. And if you start one of these environments from scratch, you will be presented with a dialog box that asks you to create a new part. Of course, you can go to File menu click on new and select what you want to start with. For example, if I want to start a part, I can go and select part from here. Or if I want to start with assembly, I can go and select a product here. Or if I want to start with the surface, I can go to click on shape. But I sometimes prefer to click here, go to part design, assembly design, or anything else. Sometimes I go to file, new, and select one of them. And that's not a big deal. Whichever, uh, which one is, uh, you know, uh, easier for you, you can select that one. So let's go to start menu. Select mechanical design part design. This is the first environment that I want to talk about. I click on OK. You can see in each environment we have a tree here. It's called a specification tree. And anything you add to your environment will go under part body and any part, but anybody that you insert here. You know, by default, you have one body, and you can add some bodies if you want to by going to insert body here, and anything you add will go under active body here. You can see that because I have only one part body here, its name is part body, and it is the active body. But if I want to add other bodies, it will be named body 2, 3, 4, and of course I can change anything that I see here. If I want to change the part name, I can right click on that, go to properties window, under properties window, and under product tab, you can see that the part name is here, you can change it. If you want to select part body's name, you can go to properties, select the features, property, and feature name is here. So you can change everything about this part. And right-clicking on these, you can see some other options that I'm going to talk about in later sections. But you can see that we can work with these as we wish. As I told you, anything you add to this environment will be uh, will go under these bodies. So the next thing that you want to know is the planes. Planes are surfaces that you start your work on them. So you have three different planes, each perpendicular to the other one. And you can see them here, x, y is the floor plane, y, z, and z, x are perpendicular to floor plane, and to each other, of course. And of course, you have a visualization of those planes here, and if you want to select one of those, you can move your mouse over these planes and select them, or you can go and select one of these. That doesn't matter, okay? Now, the next thing that I want to talk about is here. Very, very important features are under Insert Submenu. If you want to add some feature, you can go here, select one of these features, for example, Sketch Base Features, Dress of Features, or Transformation Features, and you can see the tools here. If you want other tools, you should know which environment provides that tool for you. 
So you can go to that uh, environment. For example, if I want to create a new plane, I need to go to mechanical design, wireframe, and let me find it. I guess that's wireframe and surface design that's here. I will take my part actually. I'm not creating a new part because I already have a part. I'm actually taking my part into wireframe and surface design by going to this environment. You can see that uh, a little difference is happening here. Uh, tool sets are changing or anything else is changing. The most important thing is here. I want to show you this. You can go to insert menu. You can see that wireframe tools are available. I can use these. And uh, why I don't go to select these tools from toolbars here? It is very hard to find what I want in my environment. Of course, I can have plain creation tools in part design environment if I find the tool set. Let's ba go back to part design environment. You can see that tools are arranged in right and in down part. And what tools are here? Let's go to view menu, go to toolbars. You can see a list of tool sets that are here. And if I want to create a plane, I can go to, let me find it, uh, because I don't work with them. Um, mostly, I cannot find them easily here, but yeah, I cannot find it. I cannot find the name. Let me show you this. You can see these tools here arranged by, you know, uh, categories. And each category has a separator like this. I can grab it and bring it here. You can see that its name is sketch base feature, for example. I can see a double arrow here. That means that some of the tools are hidden. If I double click on this double arrow, you can see that these tools that are going to float here. I double click more and see more of these tools. For example, the analysis. And let me click here and find more tools. I guess some of the tools, and that's opening the help for me. I don't want to open help. And Yes, I double click here and you can see this again. And I cannot find the tools at this doesn't matter. If I want to find them, it is a little, you know, uh, creepy. I, as I told you, I prefer to go to a different environment and find the tool under insert menu. And you can see that I'm working with this more than working with tool sets. And sometimes I cannot find the tool. I cannot remember the environment that I need to go and find the tool. I use this text box here. For example, if I want to uh, find, for example, uh, measure tool, I will type a C. That C is for command. So I type, I type a colon and type in a measure here and click here. You can see that it doesn't find the measure. Let me type it again. C, for example, apply material and type in here. And after a while, you can see that. Again, I need to be careful about what I'm typing. I just typed an asterisk. So I type apply material and apply material tool is open here like this. If I want to find padding and I cannot find it in this environment or I cannot find in other environments, I just type C colon pad and the pad tool is going to open here. Okay. So these are the ways that you can activate a command. If you want to, you can have tool sets arranged in right, in top, like this. If I move it here, you can see that they are arranged like this. I can move it to right again. I can have two rows of tools. You can see that I'm not putting it back in its original place. I just want to have two rows, so you can see that they are here. I can move it here again, like this, and have different rows if I have big monitor I prefer to reset everything so I go to tools menu go to customize and under customize I select toolbars go to restore position click OK and everything goes back to its original space so this is the environment here you can find different tools I will go to insert menu and find most of my tools here as I told you but you can arrange your tools in right, down, or left. And there is a handle here that will help you move your object. Let me create an object very fast. 
for example, I go to XY plane, I can click on XY, and this is uh, taking me to this plane, and I go and click on sketch, here it will take me to sketching environment, I draw a very simple object like a rectangle, I exit my workbench, and click on pad, and here I have some padding, I click on, okay, you can see that I have a 3D object here, and if I go up, you can see that this compass has different parts here. If I grab one of these, you can see that it rotates me in one direction. Yes. And if I grab these lines, it pans, uh, you know, to left or right, like this, and in Z direction. If I grab this, you can see that the compass is going to change. And if I grab this button on top of this compass, you can see that I am rotating it freely. And of course, you have a compass here. If I click on this, it will lock my object and does not, I cannot change it anymore. You can see these are available, but I prefer other options like panning, rotating, and you know, zooming that are available. I want to talk about shortcuts in later sections. So, it's open part body. You can see that anything I have added is under part body. Okay, this is a very uh, basic introduction of CADI environment. I want to talk about CADI environment more in next section, and I want to work with tools to show you how you can find tool, how you can create objects, how you can use different tools and work with them.